Hold on a second. Is this a trip to London? Or is this the Italian job? Well, I gotta tell you, it's a little bit of both. I'm about to hop in a Mini Cooper and explore the city from behind the wheel. One of a kind, tailored, personal tours. They're like getting a suit that fits perfectly. And they're guided by guys in suits that absolutely fit perfectly in these Coopers. So, got a couple hours to spare in London? Take a custom Mini Cooper tour. The driver, Rob, or one of his associates will take you around on a customized tour. You can check out some beautiful scenery, get a personal insight into the destination, and maybe even check out where the Beatles recorded the White Album, Abbey Road Studios. If you're a music fan, this is the way to go. You can even imagine yourself on a famous album cover. If you're more into arts, history, or anything else, these mini drivers will take you to the London you want to see as they tell you the stories that interest you, not just the usual routine stuff of tours and tour buses. All right, so Rob, small, small car, big city. That's and you're, right. And you're doing these tours. Um, interesting choice of uh, vehicle. Well, what's with what's with the, the Mini Coopers? Absolutely. You know, the, the Mini Cooper is a symbol of the 1960s. They're a British icon. And we thought, what better way than sightseeing in a classic Mini? We can zip down all the back streets. Yeah. We can get the places where the cars can't and the buses can't go down. And you can see a whole lot more. Now, how would this compare to other tours that people can do you know, in London, you see the double deck tours, double decker tours, and all of that. Well, the double decker tours are great if you want an overlay of London, if you've never been to London before. But if you've got a very short time period to see London's best bits, when people come to us for something a little bit more bespoke, we tailor each tour to the client's individual requirements and we take them to the sites that they want to see. So if you're interested in fashion, we're not going to take you around all of the palaces and all of yep. the monuments. We're going to show you, going to take you down Brick Lane and Bond Street and Portobello Road and all of the quirky fashion districts you see. Okay, so this road that we're going down now is called Pal Mal and it was named after an Italian game of croquet called Palais de Malais. And that roughly translated means to hit with a mallet. Okay. So the kings used to come tearing down here on horseback, knocking balls with a big mallet and uh, negotiating various obstacles. It was really popular with Charles I and James I. And so eventually when they started building work on this area, it took its name as Pall Mall from the original game Palais de Mallet. There you go. So one of the things I, I learned today was at Admiralty Arch, there's a, an exact replica of the Duke of Wellington's nose. That's right. And it's actually kind of up, it's up kind of high because yeah. it was for the folks that were coming in on horseback through the arch. Correct. What would they have to do or want to do? The legend has it, you're supposed to rub the nose on horseback for good luck and then you wouldn't get killed in battle. Okay, so why didn't we rub his nose on the way so I don't get killed? We're too low. <laughs> It's, we're, in a mini, we're in a Mini Cooper, man. Let's give you a leg up. <laughs> you might not be able to get a physical leg up in this little car, but on a small car big city tour, you can see London how you want to see it and look pretty darn cool doing it. 